Hey, welcome back friends. Today we're gonna to get a close up look at the new DeWalt DWE 7485 eight and a quarter inch job site portable table saw. This thing is loaded with features, so let's get started. Okay, if you're looking for a table saw that's very easy to transport, and to store, this is one you're gonna to wanna to check out. It has a 4.6 star review on the Home Depot website. And this is one of the first things I wanna point out that I really like on it. The on off button on this is one of the best I've ever seen. So you can just see how you can start it right there and just shut it off, you just tap that red button. Another safety feature I like on this is a fast break. And then this also has a flip down locking system on it. So if you wanna get a skinny padlock to put on it. I don't have one, but I'm gonna show you this cotter pin right here that I have. So if you put that through, you can lock it just in case you have people in your shop you don't want using a table saw. Another great feature with this switch, it has a power loss reset button. So in case you happen to trip a breaker, it will not accidentally come back on. You have to hit the green button. We're gonna start out by doing a little bit of cutting. Then I'm gonna also show you all the features of this. So right now I have the blade guard installed and I don't have any dust collection hooked up to it. So on the blade guard, it does have an area where you can hook your wet dry vac up to and then down below, it also has one too. So you could actually run two dust collectors on this saw right here. And I'll test that in just a few minutes. You can see that push stick in my hand that is included with the saw and it stores on the fence over there. It's a very handy safety feature to have. This board that I'm ripping down is made of poplar. It's gonna be used in a upcoming project. I believe it's a one by 12. You can see the cut on that end right there from the saw is nice and clean, nice and straight. So I'm happy with the performance there. What do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna show you now how the dust collection system works. So we're gonna start out here running both of my rigid wet dry vacs, one hooked up to the blade guard and one down below. So it's hard to really see my hands, but they are safely out of the way from the blade as I'm ripping this down. And right there at this angle, you don't really see much dust. So we're gonna take the bottom one off and just use the top, see how that looks. You can see all that dust that comes out the bottom there. I think the majority of the dust comes out down there, but we'll see once we take the other hose off, we're gonna switch these out here a minute. Put that bottom one back on. There you can see some comes out the top. So if you want to run this inside, keep the dust way down, you're going to want to run it with both hoses hooked up to it. This table saw has rack and pinion telescoping fence rails, which gives fast, smooth, and accurate adjusting. I'm really happy with that. This table saw is definitely set up to rip a full sheet of plywood or OSB. So if you have the fence to the right side, it'll cut up to 24 and a half. If you have it over to the left, it'll rip up to 12 inches. And just see how it locks in place. So just so you know, this does not include a stand. If you're looking for a stand, DeWalt does make one that you can purchase separate. I'll have a link down below if you want to find out more about it. So from this angle, you can see that steel tube design. It gives it job site durability. I've noticed that the feet on this have really good traction. You can see how they picked up some of that red barn wood that I'm running this on top of. I found that all the different accessories store in here really nice. So that just locks in place right there, the miter gauge, and there's different components like the very top part right here, the blade guard. And then you can also put these anti-kickback pawls right here. So those store underneath, or you can put it on top so what that does, it locks in place up there pretty quick and easy. And then if you're running a board underneath those, there's you can see how they have a spring on them. As we're running this board, it will keep that board from kicking back at you. I want to take a look at the fence right here. So if I have it all the way to the one side, there's a flip down support. So it will keep a full sheet of plywood flush with the table. And then if we move the fence to the other side of the blade, we can flip that bar out of the way so we can start ripping. So the saw also includes a miter gauge right there and then on the fence right there that's where the push stick is stored. I feel like the miter gauge that's included with this is actually an upgrade from a 10 inch table saw that I reviewed last year. So 
glad to see DeWalt's doing that. And I just really like having that push deck stored right there because I'm always needing one. So you can see the six foot cord is stored right there on the side, really nice. And the blade height adjusts nice and easy. If you're wondering the cut depth, it'll do 2.56 inches at 90 degrees and 1.75 at 45 degrees. So you can take that top guard off if you don't want it and just have the blade or the riving knife that also comes out as well too. And then the blade speed on this is 5,800 RPM. And it's powered by a 15 amp motor. The overall weight of this is 53.4 pounds. And then let's zoom in on the angles that it cuts at. So it'll do 47 degrees max to the left and two degrees max to the right. I definitely feel that DeWalt got it right when it comes to onboard storage. Everything seems to lock in place. So if you're transporting this, nothing's falling off. You don't have to go back looking for like your miter gauge, something like that. And then we have the blade change wrenches right here that securely lock in place. So you always have those if you want to change the blade out. And then we have some additional storage like right here for the riving knife. You can just see how that firmly locks in place. And then there's also storage for the blade guard. You can see where that locks in place really nice too. The arbor size on this is 5 eighths of an inch. And the one thing it will not do is run dado blades. That's just one thing I've heard people say they'd like to see. And this saw is definitely very portable. It has a nice handle right there. So I can carry it easily to my truck. If I want to put it actually in the back seat, there's room right there to put it up on its side. All right, so what do you think about the saw so far? Can you get by with an eight and a quarter inch blade instead of a 10 inch? Let me know down below. And do you like all the features, especially the storage features of this? I'm very impressed with them, but I just like to know what you guys think. If you want to learn more about the saw right here, I will have a link down below to the Home Depot website. And there you can see some other questions and answers and reviews. And if you find this video review interesting, informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.